guys back at you with another video today we're gonna switch up the pace we're gonna go see what my body fat percentage is at 13 weeks out of a show so let me know what you think in the comments below will i be three percent will i be ten percent and also if you haven't done so please subscribe to the cellucor channel i'll be releasing exclusive content there only You're just gonna be laying there just like this. Stay nice and still. This top part of the machine is gonna go down towards your feet um, and it's gonna take a full body scan. So it'll tell you how much muscle you have, fat tissue, organ fat. It's gonna break it down into the different regions of your body. It tells you. Yeah, well, Mike is, Mike really wants me to get my body fat. We don't want to guess because a lot of times I look great two weeks before the show right. and then I'll flatten out or I'll overdo it with cardio mm -hmm. or overdo it with, with the nutrition. So then we have a flatter, like, you know, softer look. So we're going to use the science. Mike loves science. Mm -hmm. I'm not really, I'm a more bro science guy, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. It's yeah. tools. Let's use our tools. We have them at our disposal. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, last time you were here, we uh, rolled out basically a nutrition program yeah. on top of this. So for the people that come in and test and don't know what to do with the data, yeah. we pair it with a four month plan. And then we retest them at the end, obviously. But, yeah. we, but we also do blood work. Yeah. So we'll do a full blood work panel. Um, we'll do the metabolic testing, which I think Mike wants to do. Yeah. Even though he ate, I think, today and probably had coffee. <laughs> That's so we is still it do. best to come on an empty stomach? For the metabolic test, I need to be fasted, no exercise. Oh, really? Yeah, no coffee. Wow. Nothing to stimulate your metabolism. So, he, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that, uh, like maybe after your scan. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think last time I came, I didn't fit on the machine, so we had to scan me twice. Yeah. Like half my body once, and the other half. Yeah. yeah. Um, I now think I'm a little smaller. We might have to do a quarter yeah. today. Now. We could just roll my shoulders <laughs> forward, you know. So what are these other rooms? What do you guys do here? So he's a stretching chiropractor. So mm -hmm. each of these rooms prefer two chiropractors that practice. I love chiropractors. I watch videos on YouTube. People just get their heads. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have a microphone for that. I've never done that. Um, and then uh, this is like um, that machine down there is for cold and hot therapy. Do you ever wear the Normatex? Oh, they're amazing. This is compression, but with hot yeah. and cold. Yeah, so it literally, literally turns cold. So if you have like a flare up, something that bothers you. You'll use the same sleeve? Uh, different sleeve. Oh, different so sleeve. All of these sleeves here. So this okay. is like shoulder, neck. This. Yeah, it's really cool. That's so cool. if you have like an acute injury, something yeah. bothering you, that's yeah. what that's good for. Um, obviously the Normatex sleeve. The Normatex sleeves are so cool. Yeah, this it, is good too. Cold laser for like tendonitis and stuff. Yeah. You, get, you get a lot of tendonitis. Uh, or you, you, no. You stretch? <laughs> no, I don't stretch. I just, I'm just a freak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm like still like 18 years old in my body. Yeah, yeah. Never had a serious injury, knock on wood. Lucky. But yeah, the Novatex sleeves help a lot, especially after leg day. If yeah. you guys don't know about the Normatex sleeves, it's pretty much these sleeves you put on your legs and it kind of just like fills up with air and gets the blood flowing and everything moving and grooving. It's really cool. So what does that do? So you're measuring what on there? So you know? bring the machine out, we hook you up to you know, a mask, yeah. the mask and the tubes connected to the machine and the machine is basically analyzing your oxygen utilization while you exercise and also how much how many carbohydrate, you know, how much um, carbon dioxide you're expelling. Yeah. And it's figuring out how you're burning energy, where you're burning fat versus burning yeah. carbohydrates. And then, you know, at what point you become inefficient at exercising. So it's good for like our triathletes, our runners. Yeah. But it's good for the guys that want to maybe like mixed martial arts. Well, guys that are overtraining, right? They're, they're lifting and then they're going and sprinting on the uh, treadmill and burning just yeah. muscle tissue. Yeah. Versus, yeah. You know, So today we'll do 13 weeks out, and then we'll come back like four weeks out. Yeah. Or maybe two. Mike, what's up? Uh, let's see how you Yeah, let's see the results. So Mike thinks he's gonna be like nine or 10 percent body fat. I think he's gonna be six or seven. I think he's crazy.
How would you alter your training? Well, we do a periodization concept now based on a full week routine that I do myself. So maybe spend a little more time not in the weeks of going heavy, go a little more repetition wise, mm -hmm. you know, the eight to 12 range, things like that. Okay. Maybe I haven't, I haven't been doing cardio, I box three times a week, but maybe I gotta do right. a little more. So my goal is 180 pounds of lean muscle tissue. I'm not too concerned with the body fat percentage at the moment. <laughs> Towards your head, really quick. Yeah, flex here. All right. So I'm. You are relaxing right now. When this arm is down by your. You know what? Should we bring him back? Then he doesn't have to flex his toes. Go back towards Nicole a little bit. Good, 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 good. good. Yeah. All right. You're pretty straight, or you feel a little crooked. Yeah, now, like your like your spine, you good? Decent. Yeah. Right yeah. All right. All right. You can bring yeah. this off. Yeah, I have to All right. So we're gonna mirror your arm. So that's not gonna be a, a measurement. It's gonna mirror your right arm. Yeah. There you have it. Six minutes, and we'll have our results. So, like I said before, my whole goal is lean muscle mass. As long as I see that I'm building lean muscle mass, I'm not so interested in knowing my body fat this far out from a show. We have three months to focus on that. So as long as I gain muscle tissue, I'm beyond ecstatic. And a lot, what I lose? I guess that's, I don't know, I lose four, fat. 4.7 pounds of fat. There you go. Where do you see that? Right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, all right, so I'm leaner and bigger. Doing better. But from what I remember, you came in last time and you from. you knew you were right. you knew you you were gonna cut. Yeah. Right? Oh my god, my body fat is the same as Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven point nine. That's awesome. Five more pounds of fat, though. All right, all right. But <laughs> <laughs> four, four to the guy. Thirty-six yeah. more pounds of lean mass. Right, right. That's right. I had a big breakfast. Now. It's also been two years between your skin. Oh, it was two years. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. All right, so I'm 11.9% body fat, uh, which is down 2% in two years, but I gained four pounds in lean muscle tissue. Yeah, and that's what we ultimately always look for in scans is that X, right? Yeah. The lean mass going up, the body fat going down. We just don't look for this much time between scans. It's a lot yeah, of months. No, I know. <laughs> I, 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 we gotta get your I frequent, baby, frequent yeah. flyer card here. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> um, Life happens. Yeah. Well, I was scared of dying from COVID, like I was like, Mike knows, I'm scared of COVID. So I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I never leave the house. <laughs> I never leave the house. Gained a pound in your arms. Do you have like I mean, a full I gym in your house? Obviously we, we, we mirrored, but we you scanned your right arms. arms. So you gained, sorry, point. Yeah, about a, about a pound and 1.2 pounds. Um, legs look like, looks like the left leg got a little, um, little weaker, but the right arm, uh, right leg, legs changed a little bit. <laughs> It changed little, little in a weak. bad way or a good way? Looks like the legs, I mean, like legs I said, got smaller? I think last time, I don't remember how we positioned your legs, but from here, it looks like 28.9 went down to 28.3 and 29.9 went down to 28.6. So about a pound Damn. difference in the legs. Damn. Yeah, a little change. So you're going to come back in 10 weeks and you're going to be two weeks out. Two weeks or out. Or three weeks out. Two weeks out. So what do you want to see at that point? To know that you More lean body. muscle tissue. Uh -huh less body fat percentage and uh, I want to be leaner everywhere mm -hmm. so, so it, body but is there too lean being two weeks out yeah yeah that's why we're coming here this right. way we are not like really right. we don't want to see our muscle tissue go down right. you know we want to see our muscle tissue go up fluctuate right. up one or so two yeah, pounds room. yeah that's I think true. I can gain three pounds of muscle tissue right yeah. in 10 weeks do you know where your calories are at right now like your yeah. macros yeah about 3900 so I'm eating a lot. I'm still pretty lean for eating a lot. Yeah, definitely. What is the macro breakdown? Uh, 400 carbs, about 300 protein, and about 100 grams of fat. How do you get the pro 300 grams in? Powders? Or <laughs> I ask myself how I do it every day, man. It's just eating, yeah. eating. Well, to be a good bodybuilder, you gotta be a professional eater. That's what it is. Yeah. There you go. So realistically, bringing them down to say seven in 10 weeks, 
from your experience, especially you, Sarah, nutrition-wise, doable. You might not go on stage and be the best version of yourself yeah. to show, right? You might be right. too tired, right? That's what we're trying with the MMA guys. We're trying to time it so they get on into a fight and they're yeah. they're ready to fight. Yeah. So I think that's really what it is. Is like, can you walk on stage and be the best you can be because yeah. you, you timed it using yeah. the data. Yeah. You know, as long as he's eating the correct foods. Right. Now, when you hear people say three percent, four percent, to me, I think that's tangible. Is that totally unrealistic it's a stretch that's like the minimum amount you want to maintain for just basic hormonal for, for 24 function. hours well for 24 hours you gotta yeah. be really lean yeah so it's is it crazy for me to think that i could be three to four percent body fat could you on a day of the show in 24 hours and then you know start eating again i don't know i, I don't know uh, are those are those guys do you think going on stage at that level these are numbers that i just hear on youtube i don't no, know i don't know this so. from my experience yeah. watching these guys step yeah. on stage i mean you're talking maybe like another three percent on top of like right like getting down to like six seven percent yeah which is yeah. Like pretty drastic yeah. yeah yeah and how do you feel too that's what I'm, and how do you look do you do any cardio at all yeah what how much cardio do you do uh, 25 minutes four times a week okay do you monitor your heart rate or no it gets about like 155. Uh -huh. Keep it at 155. You just do steady state, right? What do you right? want to just pull? Yeah. But soon we're going to do a uh, hit. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're exactly. going to do soon. But we're too are soon. Gonna, to are you going to try to average a certain heart rate when you do it? Or you um, just, so just, I go all out intensity when I do hit. Uh -huh. Like if I don't feel like I'm going to die in three minutes, then I'm not doing hard you enough. So I go that, all out. You sustain that for a certain amount of time though? Like a minute, two minutes? Or you all yeah, out? about 17 minutes of hit. For that intensity you hold for 17 minutes or are you going to go for like a minute recline? 15 minutes, 15 well. seconds all out intensity and then, and then 45 up. seconds of rest. Oh, 15 right. seconds yeah. all out intensity, so you're, 45 you're seconds average. rest. average. The same, yeah. probably, 155-ish. Right. Yeah. Maybe for 15 seconds you get up to 170. No, I, I, I could get up to 200 sometimes. Yeah. I could get up there. Yeah. Yeah. That's high. I get up there. <laughs> Yeah. But you know, there's other things. There's supplementation. There's things that bodybuilders do that the normal person wouldn't do. You know, so there's thermogenics, there's fat burners, there's, you know, there's the a bunch of stuff. stuff. Yeah, there's anabolics, there's everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, guys i got my results dexa scan in long island awesome place bodybuilding is not an exact science a lot of this stuff goes by looks not by performance muscle fullness uh, uh vascularity striations but if you have the tools and resources definitely use them at your disposal if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and let me know in the comment section below what do you think I'll be at in 10 weeks from now? Will I gain five pounds of lean muscle tissue? Will I hit that 3% body fat or not?